Hi, my name is Sandra Slemmy and I'm running for Vice President Warrington. I'm running for this position because I've been in the position for the last year now, so I've decided to run for re-election. Um, one of the main reasons why I'm running is because I've thoroughly enjoyed the last year and I kind of feel that I'm not ready to leave yet and I feel I've got a lot more to do. So a lot of the stuff that I've already um, achieved is that I've done a lot of work with the majority students when, and when I talk about majority I mean talking about sports and societies but also uh, one of our biggest courses on this campus, the nursing course, um, I'm, I've managed to secure the Blackburn Fund which um, ensures that she is able to get to and from placement uh, securely and um, with assistance from uh, fi assistance financially as well. Um, another reason why I'm running is because um, I thoroughly enjoy this place and I've got so much passion, so much drive to continue and I don't feel like I'm finished yet. The first thing that I would change about the Warrington campus is um, the one of the main objectives I'm trying to get uh, for next year is I want more availability on uh, the weekends. So one of the things I'm trying to do is ensuring that stuff happens in the bar on the weekends external to just drinking. So I'm talking about getting stuff happening in the bar. That's fun. So I'm going to look at other models of student unions and see where that can be used in our bar. Also, I'm, gonna, I'm in talks and uh, continue talks to see whether we can get Starbucks open over the weekend for a limited time and hopefully try and get some deals on in there. Um, one of the other things I'm looking at doing is I'm going to continue talks, because uh, I've signed to already, uh, but something I really want to do is look at short-term plans and long-term plans for improvement, uh, improvements of accommodation, which obviously is a massive um, kind of a problem that students feel, you know, this place needs a massive up uh, facelift. Another thing I'm looking to do is um, helping out commuting students and off-campus students. So students who have to sometimes drive in half an hour to an hour into, into uni. So um, I'm looking at uh, getting lockers for students who have to lug in quite a few books daily and weekly. Um, I'm looking at getting some ch uh, charging docks in the library. So you, if you forget your charger, which we've all done, um, that's another thing that we can look at doing. Um, another thing I want to do is ensure that everybody in this campus feels together and there's the sense of community which is something I look to bring back within my first year as a sabbatical officer and I feel I did do that so I uh, carried on with the whole championships and I do feel there is a sense of belonging now. The thing I would, the thing I would change about the union um, considering obviously we're a very small campus here and there's only very specific stuff we can do here but when I talk about the union, we talk about the whole uh, Chester Students Union. But here specifically, I'd like to see more options in our student shop. So um, I'd like to see uh, more options of hot food, you know, more uh, kind of perishables, more options um, for stuff that you need just generally around the house and in your flat. Um, and the thing is that I'd like more opportunities for sports and societies. So there's a lot of um, uh, sports and societies I'd like to, you know, give them more opportunities, more coaching um opportunities as well, improvement of coaching and ensuring that every sports team has a coach of some kind, whether that be a student coach which can, which can be plugged in with an um, academic course or whether that be an external coach. Um, but also I'd like to up the number of societies as well. So some of the societies I have in mind already is I'd love to get like a running society set up over here. I'd love to get um, like a wrestling society and some appreciation societies that I've worked over in Chester that I feel I can bring over here as well. In no more than five words, um, what makes me the best candidate? So the first one, I'm very passionate. I'm Italian, so that comes with it. I'm a very passionate guy. Um, and I do feel that when I've got something to say, I'll say it. Um, I'm experienced. I've been in the job already. Um, and I feel the first two months of my job was just me getting my feet on the ground. And now I feel I've got my feet on the ground. I'm ready to run. Um, I'm approachable. Anybody can speak to me. Speak to anyone who's seen me in my role already. My door is always open and I will always speak to anyone. Um, I'm understanding. Um, I know sometimes it can be hard coming to my office and having to talk about something that you feel uncomfortable about, but I want you to be um, in the knowledge that you can speak to me about absolutely anything and I will understand your point of view. Even if I don't agree with it, I'll be very neutral. Um, my last one is I'm adaptive. So, like I said, even if I'm not willing, if it's something that I don't personally agree with, I'll be willing to work with you and make it happen in some way. So they're the things that I, um, that's partly the reason why I'm running for Vice President. So vote Sandro, one more slice, give me one more year. Oh, what a question. Money or fame? Um, I'd choose money.
uh, I'm not bothered about fame because money means that you know I'm comfortable and if I wanted to I could make my own fame whereas if I have the fame it's very easy to lose money because you can be sucked up within it.